your role in Far Cry, because yeah. that was a video game, which is a little different. Can you share some of that experience? Were you doing the motion cap, uh, yeah. like motion capture and all that? Yeah, I, um, it's interesting. They, I, I found that after the fact that they had been looking to cast that character for a couple of years and they just couldn't find anybody to the point where they were actually not knowing how they were going to go forward with the game. And then I, I can't remember what year it was, but it was before Christmas. My agent called and said, hey, there's this video game franchise. They didn't know what the, the there's this video game franchise, Ubisoft pro project, and they want you to come in and read for it for a couple of parts actually i said no because i grew up playing tech mobile and you know, <laughs> I, didn't, I mean i had i was so ignorant as to what video games were i just i couldn't imagine that it'd be anything i'd want to do and i had you know this film career going and tv i'm like oh, video game Are you kidding me and then so i said no and then they he, my agent called me back again and said uh well will you read at least um some some of the stuff that they've written so I, I got one part, I can't remember what the character was, it, nah, I threw it away. And then the father, there was the, it's the, the monologue that is part of the game now where I talk about being, you know, I was 23 and I was a nobody from nowhere and we find out we're pregnant and my wife, you know, and I'm working and I'm just over, like overwhelmed by the idea of the responsibility of being a father and my wife goes away and uh, goes when I'm having a, a nap on the couch and she gets killed and I go to the hospital and I see her dead body and then I go in and my daughter's there and you know God tells me that I have to make a choice and I take her little breathing tube and I anyway it blew me away the writing is so beautiful and so powerful and I, I you know I, I also was becoming a father at 23 and I was like this nobody from nowhere in theater school never never had a role in my, like nothing and it was so overwhelming so the, the, it really resonated with me so I went in and uh, David Footy is the name of the director. It was at the old um, Carla Dundas, whatever that space is. And I, I went in and I did one take and then I just got up and I left. Like I didn't even wait for them to say anything. And they were kind of like, well, hey, wait, wait. And I'm, but I was gone. <laughs> and then I got a call and Dan Hay, who was the creative director of the Far Cry franchise at the time, he's since left Ubisoft, but he um we did a little uh they wanted to see me do some of the preaching because like the intimacy yes they wanted to see if i could fill out the space so i i did some work for them and then they they flew me out to montreal they offered me the part they flew me out to montreal and they sort of ex expanded and explored and explained the world to me and they had amazing visuals and i was in the ubisoft building there and it was uh amazing i was so blessed to work with that creative team and that's the only the only experience i've ever had in video games so i don't know what it's like for other people but i found the writing was so compelling and so disturbing and unsettling and it resonated with me in a lot of uh, obvious ways so we started to create this character and we would we would shoot and then they would write more specifically for me and even the idea of the discipline of mocap. So, you know, you, you guys, you got the helmet on, you got the camera right in your face and the lights and the dots, and then you've got little balls all over your body and they're, they're motion capturing you as you work in the space. And it's kind of like this theater work mixed with the camera right there. So it catches the intimacy, but it was definitely, it took a minute to get used to it. They were so accommodating though, for the really intimate, intimate scenes like there's a series of monologues i give when each of my siblings has died and because it's a big space and i liked some intimacy they built these like they would build a room essentially around me that the cameras could still see through but it felt like i had a wall behind me and things so it was hmm. felt safe and so they would constantly go out of their way to to do what they could do to help me do what I needed to do. And I, I, I loved every second of it. And then the response to the game was really strong. And I got to revisit the character a few, few more times, which was uh, incredible. But as an, as an actor who essentially has spent his entire life on, on film sets, I, I really felt that I was able to create that honest intimacy with the other characters in the game, which would essentially like the other people I was working with, which would become the player in the game. And, um, 
And then the skill and the technology they have, where you could, you know, you put a side by side of the performance I gave on it would be film, and then how it was rendered in the game was beyond like the technical proficiency of making everything look so believable. They really do manage to catch a bit of the soul of the performance as well. So it was an unbelievably positive and rewarding experience all the way through, both from the friendships I was able to make with particularly Dan and Drew and, um, but, but the whole Ubisoft team and, and that character, it's just a great character. 